Find out who's hungry next. Cape Cast. Howdy, folks. I'm Eric Williams, and welcome to Cape Cast, the official webcast of the Cape Cod Times for February 8th. We visit a hungry baby owl at a local animal hospital in the second half of the show. But first, let's take a look at news. In the Ustala Romney department, the sudden departure of the former Massachusetts governor from the presidential race has political handicappers wondering what's next for the mint man. Could he challenge John Kerry for a senatorial seat, become John McCain's running mate, or take another run at the White House in 2012? Check out David Kibbe's intriguing story at CapeCodOnline.com for more MIT musings. In the bus fuss department, riders of the budget-threatened flex system received reason to hope yesterday when Cape Cod Regional Transit Authority Joseph Potska said despite looming budget cuts, every effort will be made to keep the flex going. The bus system serves seven lower Cape towns. Hey folks, Cape Cast found a roost yesterday at Wild Care, where we checked out a baby saw-wet owl at feeding time. You were watching a saw-wet owl get breakfast. And what exactly was that owl eating? He was eating raw mouse. Now, tell us about that owl, how you got it, and what its prognosis is. That owl came into us from East Ham last week. It was reported by um, a property owner who spotted it hiding behind his tire. Uh, and we sent a staff person out for a rescue and um, uh, brought the owl back to the clinic and, and noticed it had a corneal abrasion. So he's being treated for that right now. And that means some kind of eye trouble? Yes. The, basically, the surface of his eye had a scratch on it. And how long do you think he'll be in the uh, cage over there? Um, he'll probably be here for another seven to ten days. We just want to make sure that scratch heals up nicely, doesn't get infected. Uh, then we promote him to an outdoor aviary where we assess his hunting skills and his vision and make sure he's good to go. And before we release him, um, we build a nest box for him, uh, and that gets hung on the property where he was found. So he not only leaves with his health, he leaves with a new house. Well, that's kind of nice, because I think one thing people would say is like, you know, if you're interfering with an animal's life, does that cause more harm than good if it's just a little eye trouble? Right, that's, that's a really excellent question. Uh, and um, basically the way we think about that is whether the problem will cause them mortal danger. Can they die from not being able to hunt properly because they can't see? The answer is yes. So that's why it's worth treating. Those raw mouse parts look so tasty that we asked to be next in the chow line. <laughs> Does your heart get broken in this kind of work? It does. Um, on the good days, there are more happy endings than sad endings, but certainly there are times people bring us animals and we, they're not, we can't patch them up. Um, all we can do is offer some relief from suffering. So, We do a lot of education, though, to try and prevent casualties from happening in the first place, and our hotline is available for people to call if they have questions. What would that number be? It is 508 240 seven days a week, 365 days a year, 8 to 12 hours a day, answered by me. What other kind of animals do you have uh, here in the building right now? Oh, well, we take 270 species native to Cape Cod and the islands, which is a lot of different guys. <laughs> but right now, um, as you can see on the board, we have a listing of everyone in the clinic. We have a red-tailed hawk, great horned owl, gulls, goldfinches, scoters, um, red-throated loon, flicker, mirror, which is an arctic species, a um, whole range of different guys. Now let's see who done it in the world of sports. A big ouch came from the island last night as Nantucket drubbed Sturgis 49-10 to in girls' high school basketball. Now let's check the all-important Cape and Islands weather forecast, backed by video from high atop Scargo Tower in Dennis. For tonight, increasing clouds with a low around 26. For Saturday, a chance of snow before noon, then periods of rain high near 42. For Sunday, mostly cloudy with a high near 39. Okay, we've got to get out of here. This has been Cape Cast for February 8th. Till next time, see you. Cape Cast.